Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look here, man. <laughs> Mr. Abel, may I have you back on the stage? Yes, sir. Sir, go to the camera. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, man. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. opportunities between India and Middle East with Latin American Caribbean countries and via versa. I will focus on fostering collaboration about all our business circumstances. I will explore opportunities in tourism to help uh, cultural challenge and uh, understand thereby uh, strengthening relationship between these all countries 33 countries Thank many you. more countries are latin american 33 countries what is that going to be? and many more the countries that political crisis and indian political crisis time to time how can the sustainable business have to use such time just to buy? Definitely will do. No problem. <laughs> how many problem, how many business do you between in and profit in India and more, more business. More more business. First of all, you know rise in the rice, uh, tourism. Culture, rice, uh, tourism, pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Uh, so many business in India. So know, more than the development country in India. And awareness about this business mm. in India and the Middle East. Mm. That is the reason. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. To be one of the best organizers. Oh. Until I met Asim Iqbal, and precisely 72 hours, let me share something with you. I got an invitation from Mr. Iqbal for a meeting, for this meeting. Then, a couple of days ago, I got another invitation for a similar meeting at 3 p.m. today. So I was wondering whether there's a mistake. So I immediately uh, sms him, is the meeting today postponed? He said, no, meeting is happening back to back. I couldn't have it. Anyway, that is Asif Hawal, and that is what ITO is doing. ITO is doing tremendous work to promote Indian business abroad and vice versa. I believe, as a student of politics, that uh, it is the trade and economy in a bilateral relationship that drive the countries together. Politics has a role, but it is business after all. Now, let me uh, share uh, the characteristics before I talk about India Latin American relations and what binds us together about the characteristics of. Uh, some countries and continent in a lighter way. You might have heard about this, but I'd like to share it with you. There was a UN survey, you know, in the, sent to the world, and the question was, please give us your honest opinion about the food crisis in the world. And that survey was a disaster. Because the questionnaire was sent to United States and they, they did not know where the rest of the world was. <laughs> it was sent to Europe, they did not know what a crisis was. It was sent to Middle East and they didn't know what a solution was. It was sent to China, they didn't know what an opinion was, they never gave an opinion. It was sent to India, Indians didn't know what is honest, what, how to be honest because it was honest opinion. And it was sent to Latin America. And they did not know what was pleased. <laughs> you see, so anyway, these are the, you know, there are several stories and characteristics of the country that really makes us special. Switzerland is known for chocolates and, uh, and the watch. Finland was known for Nokia, no more. But anyway, these are some specialisms about the country. So talking about India and Latin America, Whenever you think of Latin America, it is very far. Isn't it? Ambassador talked about distance does not matter. But Ambassador, in our country, we say the love grows deeper when you are further from the love. And we wish Chinese were further away from us. Yeah? So um, that is, uh, the distance is not a barrier. What else is common between us? India and Latin America, share a history of pain and pleasure. Pain because we are both colonized by Europe. You are colonized by Brazil, I'm sorry, Portugal, Spain, and we are also partly a colony of Portugal. The history of suffering builds the solidarity among us and builds us to, uh, brings us together. We are both diverse, huge, and diversity perhaps sustains our democracy. Our thinking, I was wondering, whatever actions and thoughts we do, it has an echo in Latin America. I don't know if you have thought about it. And vice versa. Let me tell you, Indians should know, the film Marvin should know, there was a film which uh, catapulted a beginner to a superstar status. Chapters. And there was a famous dialogue there in Hindi. And later on, through my research, I found out that it was a literal translation from a novel from Latin America. Okay, the film I'm talking about, Indian to know, Om Santi Om. And the dialogue is said by Kiran Kher. Yeah? Yeah, Kiran Kher? No. Kiran Kher, maybe you are referring to another one, but the one I'm saying, is that, so let me say it in Hindi and I'll tell you the translation and the author. 
how they say, could you please help us in uh, establishing business and extending India's export effort. So I became chairman of a company called Overseas Infrastructure Alliance. At that particular time, I think even now, government of India is uh, loaning out, giving out a lot of uh, loan on, 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 on concession rate for the development effort. And that start was made in Africa. So we have made already in Africa a big thing. I think we have, we have $20 billion of what we have already given so far. But Latin America also the government has EMR, had EMR uh, about a few billion dollars. But these have not been utilized. And for that, the blame lies, of course, on our side and also on your side. Because the idea is to identify areas where this can be utilized, the amount is available. And it is not on a commercial uh, uh, basis, it's on, on a, uh, not even a health but, but on a, below the uh, market rate. Uh, everybody talks about China helping out to the bank issue and all that. Do you know the China, China's rate of uh, char charging the amount is commercial rate, whereas we are giving at 1.75 over the board. So this is the area challenge. You know your country very well. You find out which are the areas where you would like to go. Let me tell you what I, I used to do. When I was chairman of the company, how did I reach out to the countries? I went on a trip to countries, selected countries where there were opportunities to be made. I went with my experts. We went and had a discussion with the planning commission, with the department of industry and a whole lot of other people. And then we tried to understand from them what are their requirements, where is it that they would like uh, 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 investors to come or people to come to help them set up industries. And after this, we initiated the process. We had to do a lot of hand holding. So the point is to identify the fields in which there is your requirement and where it is our expertise. And that's how the thing uh, gets started. So the point I'm trying to make again and again is that the action will be has to be taken, not sitting in one's offices. One has to keep moving around in various business circles, commercial circles, not just restricted to India, uh, to Delhi. So Delhi is the capital city, but there are uh, things happening in Mumbai, there are things happening in Bangalore, in Hyderabad, all over the place. So you have to go there, make contact. So basically, therefore, you know what your country needs, what are the requirements, what are the areas, you try to find as uh, uh, the Indian side of it, and there are people waiting to, to, to join and to try to meet with chambers. And of course, to that extent, I think one of the readily available chambers has, uh, of platform has been provided by Dr. Asseri. Well, I don't think you can ever, you don't have to run, run around and find uh, somebody who can facilitate. A facilitator is important. And to my mind, I think Dr. Asseri is playing a great role. I'd like to congratulate you. What I would like to say is don't miss this opportunity. Because until and unless you blend the two, you bring the two parties together, marriage cannot happen unless there are two right partners formed. And he is a married broker, if I may say so. And he's a good one at that because he has so much tremendous experience in the field that he will he, he doesn't go and help everybody else. He wants to mask the two sides. The man maker job is to see what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses, bring it down, bring the two sides together on the table so that something can be done. If I'm, uh, if I'm uh, not mistaken, that should be your mandate, I'm sure. And he really is going to places, going to places. I'm not just restricting himself to comfortable areas. He's very active in the Gulf. He's very active in, in, in this part of the world. But the fact that he has chosen Latin America as one of the field of activities, I think it's August very well. Here is an opportunity. You don't have to go to the market. Go to this man. He will be the map maker. He will bring the parties together. You explain to him what exactly is the requirement of your country. And he will get you in touch with, 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 your, with your side. So please feel free to contact him. And I, uh, I can assure you that I, I don't work for him. It's just that I find that he is such an active and a very fantastic person. And I just want that such opportunities must not be lost. I am sorry if I am getting carried away, but let me say it's been a pleasure for me to come back.
even though I am not active in diplomacy anymore, but I still am working in my own way to help wherever I can. And this was an opportunity which I thought I could come and speak to you, to coax you and to exhort you to not let go the opportunity. Because if you do not come, somebody else will take the opportunity. And Latin America, to my mind, is one of the growth areas. And the growth area must not go untapped. Idea is get together, both sides have to be done. So here you are, and here he is. Please uh, get together and bring your partners, and he will make sure the things will happen. Uh, thank you very much for being patient with me. If I got carried away with my own stories, please forgive me. But I thought I couldn't contain my enthusiasm to be with you and congratulate you for the initiative. Dr. Asim, well, thank you very much, and may you succeed in your venture. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency, for your kind words. May I just request you to be, before you take your seat, uh, sorry, anybody, if you could just please uh, felicitate him with the show. Thank you. And uh, you know, the very right words, uh, and, and particularly I think some of the things that you've mentioned, uh, it's really also set a, set a good ground, uh, you know, path for us to see how is it that we can move forward, what are some of the things that we can look forward to, and uh, really, uh, you know, all the, the businessmen and delegates who are here, I think it's really looking at how is it that we can look at the next step. And uh, as an outcome of this is what we would look at is to really look at some of the countries that we can shortlist or really work with and maybe eventually all of them and take delegations to individual countries to be able to go out there and work with them and identify the opportunities and then work backwards. So thank you for your words, uh, Ambassador Sony. I think definitely extremely powerful. Thank you very much. So uh, on that note, uh, may I just request now His Excellency Mr. Alberto Guani, uh, the Ambassador of Eastern Tropic of Uruguay, to please share his words um, and see how is it that we can really look at putting few things together and how is it that we can put a structure together to do this discussion and uh, identify some next steps. So Excellency, may I please have Um, almost a year ago, the group of ambassadors of Latin America and the Caribbean group in India um, chose me to be their leader, and I had the great pleasure a couple of days ago to have that mandate renewed. Um, so that means I will stay in this condition one more year, and that would allow me to uh, express that this group, especially of the Latin American and Caribbean group of ambassadors and high commissioners, is very much uh, devoted and at the same time willing to encourage in a change of vision from India towards um, Latin America and the Caribbean. Much has been done. We have already counted with the assistance and the support of the MEA. We know here, as former uh, members of, of the Foreign Ministry too, that their will has been uh, always to push this a little bit uh, more to make it a very rewardable relationship. Um, but I think we have not started yet. And why do I say this? Because even though we have $50 billion trade from uh, uh, India with the region, we are looking forward to set up another uh, finish line, let's say for 2030, that will be the double and I would say not only the double, we can even go further. The situation is that you should understand that most 
of our region, is practically the most effective agricultural producer region. Why do I say that to one of the biggest producers of food? It's because India, in 15 years probably, will start importing food because you will not be able to cover the needs of this market. And that's where we need to step in and we need to show you that we produce without subsidies. We do not have each person in the countryside being subsidized like in Europe. We are natural producers and especially we are producers that look upon the environment and the well-being of animals. So, um, I don't want to say it in such rough words, but really um, the relationship between India and South America and the Caribbean is what both said a match made in heaven. But we still need the Indians to realize that that is an opportunity and that is a place to look upon. And for that, we need the private sector. The private sector and the people that move the economy are the ones who are going to make that happen. Because for this moment, we can make many arrangements between the government, we can make a lot of uh, linkages, but if the private sector is not compromised in this direction, there is very little that we can uh, really achieve. So, I think, and I thank this opportunity to talk to you about uh, all this reality, but I will be more specific now with the help of my telephone. So I can tell you some things that I have noted here in order for you to have as a core issue, I would say. According to trade indicators, uh, the Latin American and Caribbean exports to India mainly consist of natural resources such as oils and precious metals, while India primarily exports automotive goods and medical devices. To achieve a more balanced trade relationship and promote sustainability, both regions should strengthen cooperation in sectors like infrastructure, information technology, manufacturing, and agriculture. Streamline trade facilitation, simplifying costumes procedures, and reducing trade barriers, both tariff and non-tariff, are crucial for enhancing economic activity between India and the LAC. This can be achieved by improving regulations, reducing existing heavy bureaucracy, and promoting digital platforms for trade. It is absolutely necessary to enhance connectivity. Going to South America is a long journey and we must improve air frequencies, including our airlines and where Air India, in its welcome global extension, could open destinations bound to South America, providing convenient deals. Encouraging investments, this can be essential for Indian companies to invest in LAC, and vice versa is vital for economic growth. The lesson given by an overseas journey of 21 years in Uruguay of Tata Consulting is encouraging in a path to follow. It shows that the return of investment is very much connected to the reliability of the countries we deal with. The effective relationship among private sectors is still in a very essential stage, as I said before. But businessmen need to have a more consistent presence in the region. We need not only India to offer what you can sell to us, but to understand that we produce and what we could buy from us at a more convenient price.